going to sit up there, you know what I mean, and make Magic Johnson the first black NFL owner. You know, this is this is just this is just the first time that this is that this that this has ever been done. Um, yeah, making head where he he getting it done. Hey, he getting it done, man. He, he still ain't telling nobody to show nobody the secret to age, but you know, he done. <laughs> no, for real. Yeah, we ain't got the secret to that. You know what I'm talking about? But hey, man, <laughs> he do got the secret. You know what I mean? To uh, you know, to business. You know, saying Magic Johnson. He got the business to that, but secret to that. But that nigga ain't got HIV no more, dog. Man, I don't think he ever it's making me think the nigga never had the motherfucker. Yeah, I'm seeing this nigga donating plasma and blood and shit. I'm like, oh, <laughs> what? Hell no. <laughs> yeah. Hell no, man. Magic Johnson says he's absolutely fired up to be the new co owner of the Commanders, calling it truly the biggest achievement in his business career. You know, so, uh, man, shout out to, uh, you know, Magic Johnson, man, uh, for just yeah. sitting up there, you know, doing something different, man. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Definitely, man. I thought it would have been somebody like, uh, you know, Mike or something like that. But, you know, hey, it was it was, nah. it was was Magic. And Magic did not do this on his own, by the way. He went in with somebody. Um, he, just, he just sold the hornets. He done. Oh, they sold? Yeah, they sold, yeah, but he trying to sell them. He done. Damn. Uh, there's been some craziness, you know what I mean, that go, to go on with uh, the owner, well, the previous owner of the Washington Commanders, which is Dan Schneider. Uh, they say that he sexually harassed a team employee and oversaw team executives who deliberately withheld millions of dollars in revenue from other clubs. Uh, he has agreed to pay $60 million, uh, in fines. And uh, this was, you know, pretty much announced this week. Um, you know, Dan, man, Dan, Dan has been getting into some shit. I ain't going to lie to you. Uh, Dan has gotten into a lot of things. You know what I mean? Just since being the owner. I mean, at one point they had owed the NFL like 10 million. You know what I mean? So about 70, 70 million in total uh in just fines, you know, he's had to go through. Uh, I'm I'm not sure if he's happy about this deal. I mean, six six billion is a, is a lot of damn money. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna lie to you. So he I'm pretty sure he is pretty excited about the six billion, but I don't think he's excited about the allegations and you know what I mean current things that are going on with him. Cause see, one thing about uh you know everything, man, look at this, man. Yeah, we I don't know, man. I I don't know, man. Yeah. You know, I, I really don't. Uh this this allegation happened in 2022. Tiffany Johnston a former Washington commander's cheerleader and marketing employee testified on two topics at a round table held by the house oversight committee investigating allegations related to the workplace culture at the commanders. Okay. Ms. Johnson, uh, Ms. Johnston, who was with the club until 2008, uh, testified that Daniel Snyder, the owner of the commanders, I don't know that big ass word, but mm -hmm placed his hand on her thigh during a work-related dinner at a Washington, D.C. restaurant and pushed her towards the back seat of his limousine after the dinner in an unsuccessful effort to have her ride with him, right? Ms. Johnston also described her understanding from other former commander employees of an alleged incident involving a former senior executive who, at the direction of you know, Mr. Snyder improperly obtained an unedited photo of Ms. Johnson that inadvertently revealed her personal areas in order to look at the photo and share it with Mr. Snyder. You know, so Mr. Snyder just was on some shit. Uh, I'm going to read this, man. I ain't going to read everything. On March 14, 2022, the House Oversight Committee also interviewed on the record another former 
uh, Commander's employee, Jason Friedman, uh, who worked for the Commander's Forum or from 1996 until 2020. Mr. Friedman, in addition to submitting a letter corroborating Ms. Johnston's allegation that Mr. Snyder physically tried to get her to join him in his car uh, following the work-related dinner, also provided uh, the committee detailed information about two areas of alleged financial wrongdoing by the club. Um, I'm not going to go all the way into it. You guys can look this up as y'all can see, uh, you know, New York times yeah. got, got some things here. Uh, but Mr. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Schneider, uh, has some bigger fish to fry, you know what I mean? With this 6 billion, you know what I mean? Yeah, man, Mr. Schneider, uh, you know, has is, is been doing some, been, been doing some things, you know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, he been. He been he been going doing they've been doing this litigation for some years now because he been trying to figure out how much he gonna pay with and all that extra and he then trying to sell the team at the same time. Yeah. So this ain't yeah. this ain't the uh, him doing the sexual assault the sleeves ball yeah they've been talking about that. Mm-hmm. Um. Uh, What's crazy is they say that this is one of the biggest deals, uh, you know, in the NFL history, uh, you know, for this team to get sold for so much. Um, I forgot what team this was before. Was it was this the Redskins? Yeah, they had the yeah, yeah. Man. yeah, yeah, yeah. OK, yeah. So, yeah, man, this is the biggest deal. Uh, six billion, you know, what I'm talking about. I don't know if Dan went in with somebody as far as you know purchasing this team back in the day or whatever the case might be, but um, man, he 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 did he did hit big on that. Um, but Dan Dan does have some other things, you know, what I'm talking about going on, and uh, that's a whole you know, what I mean, different ball game, right? <laughs> but anyway, man, let's tap into something different. 